Shia LaBeouf is an artist. Yes. Welcome to his museum. Wait, this is he real? He you such works as watching all of his movies in a theater back yeah. to back. Smart. And wearing a paper bag. But now he's ready to unveil his magnum opus. I used to be a change. He will not divide us. He won't divide us. Their message from Astoria, Queens, broadcast well, for he the did. world to see. Camera feed will be up 24 hours a day for at least four years. Yep, I remember this. Media called it a triumph. The first great art of the Trump era. Oh my God, dude! I remember this fucking webcam. This fucking webcam. There were so many people from 4chan that went to this. It was crazy. I watched like 10 videos about this, man. Yeah, it was like, yeah, this is the Ice Poseidon era. Exactly. Divide us. He will not divide us. But oh unfortunately my God. for Shia, Paul appreciates art too. And yes. they wanted to express themselves on camera as well. Absolutely. Art, but you're so supreme. Yep. Yep. God, this is good. Oh boy. Oh boy. I slapped the chicken titties out of her hand. Oh yeah, I remember that. He's about to crack, isn't he? Paul had one goal in mind, to take over the exhibit and trigger Shia. Oh no. Museum of Keck. Oh no. By day two, Shire is getting sick of hearing about Pepe. <laughs> he a mad boy. He is real. Shia LaBeouf is a rich white liberal who doesn't what care that about the working what? class. Clearly yep, I remember seeing that one. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Six hours. I haven't later. heard that song since then. He will not divide us. Is that a little speaker? Whose speaker is that? <laughs> Paul learned that Shire was particularly triggered by just... Nazi role playing. So it became a game to make Nazi references while he was on camera. Oh my god. Dude, people used to be like, this is what the internet used to be. All kinds of just dumb fuck shit like this all the time. What's up? Bang, bang. Hitler did nothing wrong. <laughs> In a rage, he sexually assaulted. <laughs> I like how he pauses for a second. Like he, he pauses and he's like, wait a minute. He just, no, he just said that. Some dude. Oh my god. Then Sam Hyde showed up. Oh my god. Oh boy. Imagine, like, the thing is, what's so sad is, like, the guy probably thought that he was really doing everybody a favor, you know what I mean? He was trying to, like, really make a, you know, make, like, you know, some kind of a movement or something like that, or really make something happen, and then it turns into, like, everybody's just memeing on him and calling him dumb. You know what I mean? Like, it's so fucking stupid. Out-of-touch celebrities. Yeah, listen, remember how many celebrities there were that thought that they would make COVID better if they were dancing in their living room singing? Yeah, look, it, it is what it is. Be nice out here. Be nice out here. You're surrounded now. But it all came tumbling down. Yeah. Off camera, because of a misunderstanding, he assaulted one of his own supporters. Of course. The police caught the event, and he was arrested. Good. 
I like how they're like, he was oh. Back. I like how they said, if you're gonna arrest him, arrest all of us. And then they just take him away and they're like, okay, well, all right. Well, anyway, um, so let's keep going. Let's keep talking to the camera. <laughs> yeah, they just got. That was easy, you know what I mean? Like, that was real fucking easy. You got divided fast. Los Angeles the next day. Soon after, they also had to put up a fence. Yeah. A wall, if you will. And now only five people at a time can come in. And they are very well vetted. Yes. But credit where it's due. Although this was not good art, Chai had created one of the most fascinating things to watch on the internet. That's true. He did make a really good meme. Like, this is something that we will remember. I will remember this in 10 years. This, I, I'll remember this way more than I remember Transformers. Like, this is more memorable than Transformers. So, yeah, is Shia, is he an idiot or is he a genius? Think about that. And here are a few of the best featured characters. The Milky Bar Pimp. You know that's hate speech. It's Milk hate is a symbol speech. of something? Yes, towards black people. Subliminal racist type of things they do. They try to say oh that, my um, God. like, black people are lactose intolerant. Like, just purposely drink milk outside very obnoxiously. How'd you get my phone number? How'd you get my phone number? I haven't given out my phone number. Did you hear that? At the end he said Hitler did nothing wrong. There's so many racist people calling me right now. Oh my god. Hey, Bjorn. 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 I, 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 don't use, I don't use the word Nazi lightly. Nazi. Make America fight Nazis again. I love you and I love these people. Oh my god. People started chanting, my wife's son, my wife's son, <laughs> <laughs> I am a cuck. This- Oh no. Look at his face. Look at his face. Oh no. My wife's son, my wife's son. He doesn't even get it. The guy is standing right behind you, the chunk the pedophile. What's your name? Brittany Venti. I came there to trigger people, and it was great. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. 2016, 2015, it was a different time. Yeah, it was a it was a really different time, guys. Let me say that. It was a really, really different time. The world was it was much dumber. And I'll be honest, it was probably a little bit more fun. Me, many more. I have to go way down? It is yeah. the single best reality TV show on the internet right now. Yeah, it was it great. going on for the next four to eight years. Yeah, that didn't happen. Watch the second one. All right, I'll watch one more, okay? Watch three. All right, let's just watch three, man. Season two was removed. It got banned for being too spicy. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Has changed. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. Nanomachines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their ability. Oh, he's talking about COVID vi uh, vaccine. After defeat on the battlefields of New York and New Mexico, yeah. Shire headed to a new hidden. He location. went to a new place. No more chanting or interaction. This latest exhibit would just be a flag waving arrogantly in front of a camera. Yes. There were no landmarks, no scenery. It can't be no stopped. No clues at all to its whereabouts. Nobody it can find it. Nobody knows where find, it is. And nothing could stop the broadcast. What now, Check stupid Nazis? Mate. And this would allow Shire to act smug for the next four to eight years. That is, unless Pol's agents could find a way to track it down. Challenge accepted. It was to be the greatest game of Capture the Flag ever. Paul began organizing. They set about gathering all the information they could on the local environment. They actually... The cloud, yeah, well, this, this was the funniest fucking thing. If you guys ever underestimate people on the internet, if somebody ever underestimates somebody on the internet, show them this video. Make them watch this fucking video. I, I remember noise. this, yeah. Because it was a live stream, they could match the time of sunset to quickly discern yep. that the flag was somewhere in the eastern time zone. That's two-thirds of the country ruled out in one move. Others began Easy. looking into intel about Shire's whereabouts, as it was highly likely that he was present for the raising of the flag itself. As time Probably. went on, distinct noises could be heard in the background. The croaking of frogs, suggesting water nearby. Oh, I remember people- didn't people like drive around honking horns too? To try to figure out if they could get a, a positive for it? 
Then, yeah. the second big break. It's, it's Pepe, distance, man. Just faintly. Two An airplane. jet streams. Uh -oh. Pole quickly opened a live feed of all of the air traffic across the oh eastern seaboard. God. But identifying these oh two lines God. amongst all of this That's hard to do. would be a challenge. Yeah. Meanwhile, social media trackers found this post. Oh. At a small town diner in Tennessee, this waitress couldn't help but brag about her run-in with Shire. Oh, it was another no. big break. TMZ also reported that Shire had been seen fly fishing in the area. Oh, the search this is was so closing fucked, in man. on Greenville, Tennessee. Oh my god. The hunt was moving much faster now. According to the aviation team, two more planes would soon be flying overhead. If they could be spotted on the live stream, Pole would have confirmation. They would know. Yeah, they would know for sure. Bingo. To further oh narrow god. down the search area, the aviation team started charting all of the flight paths of spotted planes. But they still needed more information. Yeah. And as day turned to night, they got it. Pole's oh, astronomy no. division used the constellations to narrow down the angle and rough position of the camera. With this, the flight paths, and some advanced trigonometry, the candidate area had been reduced way down. Further confirmation from weather satellites backed up the claim as an agent was dispatched to the scene. See, it's like, you know what the, you know what the government should do? is like every once in a while, they should just find one of these cases that they can't figure out and just put all the information on the internet. Be like, all right, all right, somebody figure this shit out. And there'll be like 10,000 people that fucking figure this shit out. It's like, cause it's not like one person did this. One person did not do this. This is like probably a thousand people working together. They do that, it's smart. As he drew close, he started honking the horn. While yep. viewers of the live stream gave feedback as it got louder. Yep. A few minutes later, <laughs> target sighted. But there he it couldn't is, just hit in during broad daylight and risk Shire's wrath. Instead, he had to wait for the cloak of night. Oh. In the meanwhile, Paul got to work devising an infiltration oh strategy. My God. A few oh my hours later, God, dude. the flag came down. It got and a MAGA hat and shirt went up. It was a beautiful moment, and it all took place on the live stream. Pol's Central Intelligence Agency had clocked Windu Season 3 in 38 hours and 14 minutes. It's like, imagine, like, imagine how mad this dude must have been whenever he saw that. Like, or he wakes up and they're like, dude, they took down your flag. I'm like, no, they didn't. And just going over there and seeing that fucking hat there. And the flag, there's no way where it is. 38 hours, yeah, exactly. And poor Shire was divided for a third time. Jesus. Divided between the flags. Could he ever recover? Probably not. Could this be I remember the that end? picture. Shire well, as I was editing this video, yeah, there has been an update. The stream has gone down and the MAGA hat and shirt with it. Oh no! But Intel indicates that the flag will be up again soon. Oh. A drone has flown over the area and you can see here that Shire is keeping guard of the flagless pole. That's smart. In response, Operation Eagle Eye is on standby. The drone carries a sophisticated device. You can see here a MAGA hat, Confederate flag, and bucket. To find out what will happen next. Okay. Stay tuned for season four. Okay. All right, this is too fucking good, man. One more? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, here it is. Season four is here, and this time okay. it's at the Fact Museum in Liverpool. Damn, that's across the world. Finding Holy it shit. wouldn't be hard. The live feed stated where the flag was. Oh, this but is the one that was on top of the building. I think I remember this one too. In and taking it. Yes, dude. Within the hour, scouts were doing Yes, recon. dude. Hundreds of sleeper agents on pole were activated. The planning mm -hmm. began. Plan A. Walk in the front door, take the lift up to the roof, mm -hmm. and steal the flag. No good. Easy. Guards already disabled access to People the third are and fourth People floor. are fucking preparing for this? Meanwhile, an agent stakes out the cafeteria. Jesus. They learn about the museum's private security, and that they're on 30-minute rotations checking all corridors and emergency exits. Oh my God. Plan B, scale the building. Here's the fact museum, the flag, 
ladder access to the platform, 24-hour oh CCTV, God. doors to the roof, and entrances to fact and adjacent what buildings. The, fuck, the route man. is simple. Walk into the neighboring complex, gain access to the roof, across, jump over a four meter Real gap, life sneak impossible, by the yeah. CCTV, and work around to the flag. Meanwhile, online, Shire and his friends were reading 4chan, ready to call the cops if they got onto the roof. So Discord teams ran counter oh intel, my God. posting fake news updates to the public forums. Plan C. Oh no. Another team was experimenting with a high wattage laser, a laser to, to burn, burn the flag from a distance. Jesus Christ. Obviously that didn't work. A side quest. Operation Shadowlay involved a Bluetooth speaker packaged in bubble wrap, which would then be lobbed onto the roof. So they would hear it? But five stories up proved to be too far to yeah. throw. So Next, to Plan D as well as E and F, all involved drones. Jesus One God. agent worked on a flamethrower assembly. Jesus Christ. Another worked on a weed whacker attachment to cut down the flag. And another would simply attach a can of paint Why? and drop it on the camera feed Okay, itself. all right, makes sense. That's While smart, actually. While these three were busy fine-tuning their new sex robots, the yeah. propaganda department was hard at work on MS uh -huh. Paint, drafting artwork to rally the troops. Plan G, trust-based infiltration. All of a sudden, fact inboxes were flooded with unsolicited resumes for internships and janitorial positions. Oh! Maybe soon they couldn't trust their own employees. True. Curators of the museum were getting spooked. Already that day, they had caught Dude, someone- Dude, I'd probably be like, man, all right, get that shit down. I, I like, listen, this is a fine upstanding establishment. Get that shit down. I, we don't want to deal with this. I've got enough of- have got enough problems, man. ...trying to make their way onto the roof using a fake press pass. Uh-huh. But while plans A through G were all being debated over, three people with no plan at all were scaling the building. They discovered that the flagpole yes. mechanism was locked in place with zip ties, and yep. they hadn't brought scissors. They were almost immediately seen on the roof. Oh, Security shit. was triggered and the police were dispatched. The three agents fled without getting the flag. But they managed to cause quite a scene. Police did a sweep, however, no one was arrested. But it was still mission accomplished. Fact abandoned the project. The flag and live stream were taken down. Liverpool's closed. Yeah, it's like they don't want to deal with that shit. They, they don't want to, yeah, it's a museum, it's your security site. Yeah, they don't want to deal with that. They're like, all right, get this fucking flag out of here. I don't want to have to deal with these stupid ass kids showing up trying to steal the flag. Fuck it, man. <laughs> wow. I, I, I didn't know the whole backstory. That's the best part about it. Is I didn't know even part of this whole backstory. 25 hours. Another record. Wow. But this isn't the end of Shire. He won't no. stop. The Season 5 DLC. Hwindu Cabin Oh Fever. yeah! And then people found... See, alright, this one's not on the internet anymore. But basically, people were able to look for different cabin listings, and then because Shia made a video inside of the cabin, they were able to fucking cross-reference it. Oh my He's god. Ready. And I don't see any footsteps. Spooky, huh? Very spooky. And then right beside it is this huge tree that's obviously come down recently. Tree? Do it! That scared me, I'll be honest. Okay, um... Let's see. Alright, we've got one more. We've got one more. Yeah, yeah, I, that, that, that got me. Alright. The walking divided, he will not divide us. This is the last one. This is the last video. The final adventure. This is, uh, episode number six. There's two more? No, the other one isn't available. There's only one more that's still on YouTube. This is the final one. The last adventure. No longer featuring him. Wait, what? No more crowds.
just flags. What the fuck? Time for a quick recap. Okay. Season 1, New York. Shire is arrested. Yep. Shut it down. Season 2, New Mexico. Someone pulled a gun. Shut it down. Fine then, we'll yep. do a shitty flag. Stolen. Season 4, another flag. But with guards. Stolen. Also stolen. I'm going to sit in a cabin for a month and do nothing. Yep. Mission accomplished. And that brings us to now. The flag is back. Okay. Stationary camera. Completely muted audio. No confirmed clues. Just a white flag on a white wall. Time to get to work. You know, this reminds me of, like, expectation versus reality. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you originally thought that it was going to be, like, this really cool thing. And, you know, people are going to come and, you know, support your political ideology. And, you know, all, all this kind of stuff, right? And, and then at the very end of it, after, you know, all your dreams are crushed and your hopes are diminished. And your, uh, you know, all of your expectations are shattered. You have the same flag in a fucking dimly lit fluorescent room in in a like a random ass hallway that nobody knows about and ironically it did become a big thing that's what i was saying right this is more memorable than transformers the transformers that he was in so shia won't be making a cameo this season he has bigger concerns which is why his buddy luke turner yeah featured here in season five oh has taken God. over so it goes Jesus. live at 4 p.m. GMT. The first thing to determine is the source of this light. Mm -hmm. Is it a lamp or natural? Well, it's moving very slowly and its luminosity is changing. Oh. That means there's a window. The angle of the light means yeah. the window should be about here with the camera here. So the relative positions of things in the room should be like this. Right. Next, they wait for sunset. Sunset is 8 p.m. GMT. Okay. Okay, that puts the flag somewhere in this zone. Does Luke Jesus. have a house in this area? Yes, he does. Perfect. Time to do some recon. Oh my god. As it gets darker, it would be easier to see a light flashing through the window. Oh. Location confirmed. Three hours, oh. 58 minutes. So what now? <laughs> some people tried to fuck with the Wi-Fi router. Mm, no good. Damn. And then, Nothing, really. I mean, look at this. What's the bloody point? Yeah. This is no better than uploading a still image and declaring victory. It's nothing, man. Especially for art. It's boring. Yeah, it sucks. Now this. This was creating discussion. It was arguably the greatest reality TV show of the last decade. It was funny. Like, things like this are unironically why I think people voted for Trump. Is because it was funny. Like, this time around, like, the second time around for the fucking 2020 election, there weren't really any of these. It was just people that were sad about COVID. Like, this is why, like, this was the enthusiasm that got the dude elected. And then this is what happened. But instead we have... To make a clown rule us? This. Oh, maybe, oh, God. So we're waiting. And we're waiting. Yeah. And we're waiting. Until... Holy shit, there's a fly on the flag. People flocked back to the stream. The flag itself made for oh a makeshift God. Ouija board. Oh my what was he communicating? Oh my what God. clues could this fly provide? Really? D? D? Okay, D. H. Okay, this is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. High definition. Why? What does it mean? Of course. People like to watch television in high definition. True. Particularly when there's a football game or Game of Thrones or something. And when that happens, often people order food in mm -hmm. so that they don't have to miss anything. The most common kind of delivered food is pizza. Right. That's it. Send the house dozens of pizzas. All right. Oh, no. They did this. Let me just say, they did this, and they shouldn't have. I it's... agree with that. Come on. It's not funny. It, I mean, it's a little bit funny, but it's it's not right. You're animal. I'm, I'm not a fan of the sending the pizzas and shit, right? Because, like, then 
you know, it's like the delivery driver's the one that gets fucked, right? It, it's funny, but it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, cause then the delivery driver gets fucked over, the person gets harassed. It, it's just, it's not ideal. Animals, animals do that kind of thing. Yeah. Don't do that. Thank you. Look, as I'm making this so video, happened? nothing really has happened outside of tracking down the flag. Yeah. No one has taken it. People found there it. There have been plans to. Plans to give it an upgrade. But there's a good chance that nothing will happen. No. That the stream will be like this for the next three and a half to seven and a half years. Mm -hmm. But after five long seasons, the only way he can say he will not divide us is by locking himself and the flag away from the world. Yep. But I suppose there's a bigger question here to yep. be asked. If a man protests with a flag, but no one tunes in to see it, did the protest ever really happen? It was the show that should have ended seasons ago. A man, perhaps undivided, but almost certainly... Angry. ...alone. Alabama the funny thing is like I haven't thought about this this event in literally years and I think I remember watching the first video the New York video America's so fucked so this was four years ago and it's gotten worse this was we can look back and it's like Oh, this is, like, we look back at these times, and this is, like, how people look back on, oh, I remember, you know, the pomp and circumstance of Thomas Jefferson. It's, like, compared to now, this is, like, whenever they wrote the Declaration of Independence. It's completely different. <laughs> yeah, season six. Yeah, I, I think these things are really fucking hey. funny, man. Uh, it, it was hilarious. The thing is, though, is, like, so many people were, like, I think they were just pissed off that the, like... Like, there's something that I think rubs a lot of people the wrong way, including me to a lot of extent, whenever some celebrity starts making a lot of political statements and stuff like that. It just usually annoys me because I feel like it's kind of like almost a, a misuse of their platform because there's not really the same level of like vetting that usually people that are in a political space have. So they're just kind of ch shortcutting themselves into having a microphone to talk about issues that they might not be informed about. Now, sometimes it's okay. It's not that big of a deal, but especially whenever people get like really involved, uh, it, it can be very annoying. Yeah, it, it can be very, very fucking annoying. So as you, yeah, I mean, obviously I make statements too, and I feel the same way, right? So pretty much what I've always said is that if somebody says that kind of stuff, they shouldn't be treated like they're anything more than just a random person. Like, I'm just a random guy. Like, I'm a random guy. Nobody should really listen to me. Nobody should listen to me any more than any other person. I am just a random dude that does whatever. That's all there is to it, man.